something's happening in Stardew Valley, folks. I gave her a birthday gift and suddenly it cut to a cutscene. And the last time something crazy happened with Emily, she had some super psychedelic trip where she was in her freaking mind palace and I ended up there and there was a whole bunch of metaphorical bullcrap, which makes me think she might be a god without knowing it or some kind of elder being. Things are getting weird. Weird in Stardew Valley. Weirder than they normally do. And that's saying something. So let's see where this goes. Ah, another beautiful day in Pelican Town. Goddamn right, girl. Um. Oh, a cockatrice. They give you green mana, lest I forget. Yes, wave to the birds. They'll come for you one day. My friends. So are you like the bell of this town? Little town, it's a quiet village. Every day, like the one before. And I'm not going to sing any more of that because I can do the whole song and I embarrass myself enough doing this kind of thing, so... Oh no, you poor thing! Lunch is served! Your wing's broken! Rotisserie! I don't think rocking it gently back and forth is going to help it. Oh, you're a bit different than the others, aren't you? Just like me. You see into the great beyond. You know there are powers beyond this world that, if contacted, can grant you abilities beyond your mortal comprehension. Don't worry, I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be all right. The town will burn. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop adding sinister, like, undertones to everything they say. So am I gonna help her with this? Emily took the injured parrot, those were parrots? Into her home and bandaged the wing. He's all set up in her room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give the bird a name. Is that falling to me? I've already given him the bossest of names. Well, rather, my own. I call him Cacardo. He is the King Chicken. Well, she. The King Hen. Cacardo self-identifies the way she chooses to, so you kind of abducted a parrot, huh? I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. Well, you know, once I get some animals, I can probably supply you with some. That's all you do, huh? So, what do you think of Emily there, parrot? What's that? She abducted you? You flew into a window and she took you into her home? You've tried contacting your family, but she cut the phone line? And she'll kill me too? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I could have one-sided conversations with that parrot for days. So, you abducted a bird, huh? How's that going? And it's such a long trip to the city. Well, if you're going to dodge the question, I'm not going to push the envelope. Lord knows I know where that trail can lead, and it is not a good one. I was kind of expecting a little something more out of that, but, uh... You know what? You know what? That's fine. She's got a pet parrot now. I really thought it was going to be a little bit more exciting than that, but... Nothing is posted today. All right, fair enough. Well, I gave her something for her birthday, and it's almost the last day of spring. Mayor! Give us your thoughts! Everyone seems a little happier on the weekends, don't you think? <laughs> I'm on the job seven days a week. Yeah, banging the constituents is not part of the job. That's... I think a conflict of interest, to be perfectly frank, but I'm no municipal politician. I don't know the subtle nuances of politics as such. Crap ton of those berries, too. Ooh, but look at what I got going on. I'm actually pretty impressed about this. Well... I don't need to go into the house to show you this, but I got two mayonnaise machines going, so I'm going to be turning eggs into something more excellent, like mayonnaise, which is probably going to be worth a pretty penny. And I got Robin at the working station once more, building me, not another chicken coop, but a house to hold all my crap, because it's getting pretty damn crowded in my house, and I feel like just having that would be nice. Although, in terms of placement, I kind of feel like I should have moved the nursery a few steps over so it could be right beside my house. But that's okay. Now we've expanded the bee colony, which will grow and grow and grow. I'm seriously thinking about having it go all the way down. Or I think what I'm going to do eventually, once I have this whole situation sorted out, is fence off an area and just make that like, this is where the bees live and just keep it there. I'd like to do the same for the trees. How many do I have anyway? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, soon to be eight, nine. So I got nine across... Nine, three, so I got 27. Huh. See, the funny thing is, in my head, it's like my goal would be 90, but would that even be worth it? And how much is this stuff worth? 90 times 200. Whew! Hold on a second. 
That would be... What is that, like... 90 times 200. Well, 9 times 2 would be 1,800, right? So... 18,000? Woo, doggy! Be a hell of a lot. How much is honey worth? Did I ever... I've sold some, right? 100, and I have 4... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... So, 4, 5... That's 20. So about two grand a pop. That's not too bad. Kind of curious with how much honey I have so far. You know what? Oh, right. I was making stuff in here. I forgot about that. <gasps> the mayonnaise is already done. Holy crap. That did not take long at all. It takes a hell of a lot longer than the, or less time than the jamming process, which is, and hey, I used gold eggs. I got gold mayonnaise. You didn't put anything in it, did you there, Abigail? Like quartz? I was kind of hoping for some breakfast, but sure, yeah. No, we don't need food. Love will keep us alive. All right, uh, well, let's see how much mayonnaise is worth, I suppose. Ah, uh, well, things are coming along slowly but surely. I was going to drop some money on the nursery to see what that does. I'm pretty sure I know what it does, but uh, I did not have enough hardwood on me at the time. So, instead, I opted to have a building to hold my... Ever-increasing amounts of crap. And I found some artisanal breads in the trash, and someone gave me crab cakes. Oh, Abigail gave me crab cakes. That's right. It's locked. Oh, son of a bitch. God, I just got there at, like, just the wrong time. Oh! God, your hours of business are irritating, Clint. You know what? You better be using your free time to pursue Emily, because if not, man, I'm just going to be disappointed in you. More so than I already am. I mean, god damn it. When is he open? Nine to four. So that's like three, six, twelve. No, eight. You're open eight hours. The hell, man? That's barely a full business day. You're lazy. You're lazy, Clint. You're lazy. Why didn't this stack? That should have been automatic. I shouldn't have had to do it myself. All right. Um, put you there. Everything else is good. Abigail, I'm going to bed. It's been a long day and I'm slightly irritated, so... Bibbidi bop boop bang! It'll be the last day of spring. Which, I'm not sure if anything super exciting will happen on the last day of spring, but you know what? Let's see it to the end anyway. Because after spring comes summer, and, and what comes up in summer? Oh! The grunge! Yeah, I remember that. It's gonna be round two with her dad. Hope you don't mind me beating the shit out of your old man in a completely non-violent way. I can't stress that enough. I'm not out to kill him. I'm just out to kick his ass. Because I'm a competitive dude. We've been over this. You know me. You know what you were getting into when you married me. Anyway. I forgot about that. Ho 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 ho. I'm going to have mayonnaise, eggs, and something else ready to go. Oh, we are going to meet that competition with both arms wide open. Now, let's see how big it is in here. Oh, yeah. No, this is going to be just perfect. That is going to be perfect. Once my jamming's done, going right in there. In the meantime, oh, yes. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good day. I want the egg. Thank you. Hello. 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 Yes. Good day, ladies. How are we today? My, my. Okay. Pick up the freaking egg, man. Oh, God. Okay. Brano. That's fantastic. I don't care right now. I'm trying to get the eggs. You guys are sort of in the way. God, man, and I want 12 of these things? <laughs> ah, it's gonna be like trying to navigate one hell of a minefield once that place fills up. Now, the chicken coop, though... I was thinking about getting another one of those. See, what's keeping me from making another one at this point is... I haven't quite designated an area for growing grass specifically. And the amount that I have is enough to keep them going for now. I think it's pretty well stocked, right? Yeah, it's decent. So, I don't want to kind of like overstretch. No, wait, it's not the right word. Overreach. Oh, what is purple? Wow, it's better than... Okay, I didn't know there was a level beyond purple. Holy crap. Or a level beyond purple. I didn't know there was a level beyond gold. Man, that is something else, huh? All right, well, I don't quite know the layout of the new uh, building yet. But purple, that's got to be even better than what I normally get. Does, does this stuff even go beyond that? No, no, honey's kind of like a one-trick pony. Okay, okay, that's fine. 
It's a sweet syrup produced by bees. You know what? I'll sell that when I have 200. That'll be the game plan for that. Yeah, I think that's a pretty solid one. Don't you agree? Well, even if you don't, don't care. My farm. Got a problem with it? Build your own. Buy Stardew. It's a good game. You'll enjoy it. Meh. Oh, this isn't going to grow in time. Screw it. I give up on you. Are these growing? Yeah, they are slowly. Oh, right, mushrooms. Good God, I always forget about this little cave off to the side. It's so easy to miss, you know? Wow, I didn't know there were such things as purple stars. So, man, that must mean... Yeah, that must mean that everything else can go purple too. Right? Or is it just eggs? Oh, just when you think you know what the answer is, they go around and, and they change the question. Or however that quote works. I really gotta use these crab pots too. Place in the water, load it with bait, check the next day to see what you've caught. I think I have bait, don't I? Pretty sure I do. Should probably try these out, see if we can catch some crustaceans. I thought I had bait. Huh. Is it in this one? Nope. Wow, I really thought I had bait. Okay, uh, well, I know I could make some, right? Yeah, there we go. Bug guts. Okay. Man, I could have sworn I'd made some bait before. Well, not the first time I've been wrong. No worries there. Ooh, flowers. Yeah, let's gather up some of those before spring runs away, right? Because next year it's going to be nothing but sweet peas and spicy berries and, um, uh, crap. What else came with summer? Let's see. Wicked humidity, extraordinary heat. Uh, bullshit festivals won by people who had no business being in them in the first place. Oh, the list goes on and on, really. All right, what do you want today? Looking for a daffodil. I accept. I believe I just found one. Yes, I did. Who's Carolyn again? I'm kind of missing out on who this is. Ca that would be the mother-in-law. I should probably know who that is. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carolyn. Have we met before? I'm Abigail's mom. No, no, I think I'd remember you. You sure? Yeah, okay. Come out of your room. Lady, get out of your room. Oh. Yep. You're not good enough friends with Pierre or Carolyn to enter their bedroom. Well, I'm married to your daughter. That should be good enough. What's on the computer? Nothing? What's in her drawer? Her drawers? Her dressers? It's full of clothes. Wait, there's a sword hidden under the clothes. Why didn't you bring that to the house? I mean, I'm not there all the time. You need something to deal with burglars, vagrants, and monsters, which are real. Um, could you come out? All right, fine. I'll just, I'll let the elderly pass first. How are you doing, by the way? Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. They're thick and itchy and irritable like me. Ah, da, 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 da. Carolyn, get out of the frickin' house. Oh, wow. You're just gonna, you know, your wife's not bedridden, but you could have fooled me. Oh, there's something I'm looking forward to. Oh, you know what? That's what I'll look at. I'm taking a break from house chores today. That's not funny. That's irresponsible. I was enjoying a cup of real-life coffee. Um, tulip? No. Gar Whoa, garlic. Really? Um, oh, crap. You need them in spring. Well, we missed the boat on that one. I really should have seen what you had going for you. Deluxe speed grow, you say? Hmm. A catalog. No, no, I'm, I'm quite all right. What did I buy? I think I bought, like, apricot, maybe? Yeah, these grow and produce in... when? Spring? I don't remember what I planted, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm more into the uh, honey, sap, and eggs game than anything else. Uh, how you doing, buddy? I don't know what to do with myself now that I'm back. Well, you could start with getting a job, you unemployed bum. I mean, that would be a start. I'm sure your family would appreciate the extra income. I don't know about you, but I'm assuming if this place hands out welfare checks, they're pretty damn slim. If they're collecting taxes from the business people, which there are not too many that are successful. I don't really like being, um, I don't like being the guy for whom the town is entirely dependent on. And I know what you're thinking. Well, there's Pierre. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's Pierre. Mm-hmm. Sure. Right. And there's also dirt. I'm sure it pays quite a bit of tax. Although, you know, land taxes being what they are, that's... Less of a joke and more of a sad, sad fact of life. Okay, I've, I've run around a little bit. You know what? I'm going to go crack a geode. Then I'm going to go see Carolyn. I'm going to give her a flower. I'm going to get this quest over with. And then I'm going to go off and do other things. And then the next time you show up, I'm going to be kicking Pierre's soggy butt in the summer festival with the garage. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, that might be a fault. That's a fall festival. Okay, there's a very good chance I don't remember what the hell happened in summer. It has been quite some time. I needed more rocks anyway, I'm cool with it. All right, here we go. It's noon, it's 12.30. It's well past the morning hour. The sun is high in the sky. It has risen. The cock has crowed. That's a rooster. Grow up. Now, if she's not out of her bedroom, I'm going to go Jack Nicholson on her ass, and I'm going to shining her door open. So, Carolyn, sweetheart, jewel lady, or mother of the... It is 1.10 in the afternoon and your ass is parked in the bedroom. Are you ill? Are you suffering from Stockholm Syndrome? Is Pierre weird that way? Are you expecting? What is wrong with you? You know, I was going to give you a daffodil, but I'm half tempted to sell the damn thing now because to be perfectly frank, you just piss me off. What can I look forward to in the coming year, Mayor Lewis? I've been mayor for Pelican Town for over 20 years. Yes, high time somebody took your head and claimed their spot as the one. Claim the prize. There can be only one. And this town is just a gathering keg bomb waiting to explode. Much like I am. When certain people spend their entire day in the bedroom for no good goddamn reason. Looking at you, Greenie. Looking at you. Abigail, can you answer a question for me? Why is your mom so weird? I was just admiring the mermaid's pendant you gave me. I'll proudly wear this to my grave. That's oddly endearing and kind of creepy. Um, but do you have any insight as to why your mother never leaves the bedroom? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, okay then. Let's see if this mayonnaise is the stuff of legend. Nope, it's still gold. That's fine. You know what, though? We are going to hold on to this. This is going to be kept until fall. It looks spreadable. Penetrating insight. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did right up until I had to give a certain someone a flower and they were too damn chicken shit to leave their own bedroom. But hey... Maybe she's agoraphobic and I'm just not aware of that fact. Who knows? I'll talk to the town doctor, comb through the locals' medical files, and learn some things I wish I could forget. But until that time, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.